hello guys welcome to the sixth video tutorial on image processing using MATLAB in this video tutorial I'm going to talking about image enhancement image enhancement is a basic image processing technique which enhance the image so that the required information in an image seen clearly there are many techniques used for the image enhancement and I will try to explain all of them with the code examples the techniques used for the image enhancements are contrast adjustment, image filtering, morphological operations, ROI based processing, neighborhood and block processing, and image arithmetic techniques. So the first one I'm going to discussing about is contrast adjustments. There are many techniques used for the contrast adjustments. So let's take a start and explain each technique with a suitable example. The first contrast adjustment technique is I'm adjust function. This function basically adjusts image intensity values. So first we need to read a low contrast grayscale image into the workspace and display it. So let's take a start. And we will also display this image. With, this, with these two lines of code, we have successfully read the image and display it. Now to enhance this image, we will use the imadjust function. So the code to enhance this image using edge, uh, image uh, contrast adjustment technique is Basically, the imadjust function maps the intensity values in grayscale image i to new values in j such that 1% of the data is saturated at low and high intensities of i. This increases the contrast of the output image j. Now run this program, first save it and give it name like uh, contrast adjustment. Now save it and run this program to see the result. As you can see this the figure one contains the input image that we want to enhance using I'm adjust function and this is the result. You can see the image is enhanced clearly. Now we will also try to enhance the RGB image with IMAP just function as well. So first we will read the RGB image and then we will display it. So first we comment this section and read the new RGB image. With these two lines of code, we have successfully read the RGB image and then we display it. Now we will adjust the contrast of this RGB image by specifying the contrast limit. We will provide the contrast limits so I want to provide the contrast limit is uh, minus 2 minus uh, sorry 0 0.2 0 0.3 and uh, 0 and um, 0 0.6 
and uh, point eight or seven and one and the other contrast limit I want to give as empty okay now um, display the enhanced image within a separate figure now save the result and run it sorry what's wrong sorry this is not a semicolon this is rather a comma okay save it and run it again what's wrong Sorry, I have given it as O. Oh, this is basically zero. I'm very sorry. Now run it again. And now you can see the figure one contains the input RGB image that I want to enhance, and uh, the figure two contains the enhanced RGB image. Now the second technique used for the contrast adjustment is basically sharpening an image. For sharpening an image, first we will read the image and we will display it. So first we will comment this section and then we will start sharpening an image. Okay, first read the image and then we will display it. Now with these two lines of code we have successfully read the image and we have displayed it and now to sharpen the image we will use find sharpen function uh, which is nothing but uh, will sharpen the input image. Now the code to sharpen an image is Now display the result in a separate figure. With a title. Now save it and basically the sharpen function returns an enhanced version of grayscale or true color i mean rgb input image now run this program to see the result you can see this is the input original image that i want to sharp and this is basically the output sharpened image The third technique used for the contrast adjustment is basically histogram equalization. The histogram equalization transforms the intensity of the image so that the histogram of the output intensity image with the length of the histogram approximately matches histogram. 
the vector histogram should contain integer counts for equally spaced bend with intensity values in the approximate range. Now, the code for the histogram equalization is first comment this section. Now, read the image and put image that I want to enhance. Also display this image. Now equalize the histogram of this image. By using hest ek matlab built in function and force the input image as a parameter to it. Now display the result in a separate figure using unshow function. Now save this program and run the result. I'm sorry, what happened? Now you can see this is the input image I want to enhance and this is the output image which is a little bit enhanced. So this is all about the histogram equalization.